Welcome to part two or episode two of the Lock Comb Out Diaries. We're going back in time a little bit to October 13th. I was finishing combing out the perimeter of my locks, the little baby locks around the perimeter that I recently got installed because I combed out the perimeter due to postpartum hair loss. So going back in and combing those out so that I can flat twist the front perimeter of my hair. The locks in this area are really new, just like a month or two, a couple of months old. So it was quick and easy to comb them out. Plus there was tons of slippage, so it was really easy to comb out these locks. And do not be alarmed by my eyebrows. I was testing out a new, uh, what's it called? Eyebrow dyeing kit that I found on Amazon and it actually worked well and lasted a couple of days. You will see me wipe off the dye in a little bit and I actually really like the results of it. So then I just went in and did a flat twist and over time I've gotten a little bit better at this but this is my first time, was this my first time or second time doing flat twists on my own hair myself so if it's not cute just don't judge, okay? I will improve. And also, I was kind of rushing. I just wanted to get it done. If you are currently combing out your locks, make sure to drop below the flexing arm emoji, like the muscle emoji, with the bicep flex, because this takes a lot of muscle, a lot of work, a lot of patience. But I believe that it'll be worth it in the end. And you're going to see me talk about this later on and about how much of the lock I decided to cut before continuing with this process. And the back was faster because that's the area that I cut a bob into, but since the top layers weren't cut, I realized it was just taking way too long. So you're going to see me explain my new method, my new process, but look at my loose natural hair. This is my loose natural hair. I can't believe it. So. I'm just detangling, you know, putting in my leave-in and my oil, and I'm just doing a simple two-strand twist and chunky, a chunky two-strand twist. And I just pretty much leave my hair alone, and I'm going to apply the same principles to my loose natural hair. So let's get into the chit-chat part. Okay, so I'm doing another Lock Diary check-in. It is November 5th, and my, mo my most recent Lock Home Out session I basically did another row back here and do you see my flat twist? I'm getting a little bit better. I was kind of rushing the parting so ignore that but I have another one here and this is where I am at the front now. I took this out last night and this is the side. And I'm just going to continue, I think, from here up, match it up, and then move back. So that's where we are now. An issue that I'm facing now, since my last retie was in July, it's now November, I'm experiencing a lot of marrying at the root, so especially over here. Do you see that? And oof, if I pull it, I'm not going to pull it or pop it because when I get to it, I'm going to soften it with conditioner, but it hurts if I like pull at it. So I'm getting some marrying, especially here. So I'm definitely going to, I'll try and get to this row today, but definitely this week I'll get to this row. But basically I just want to get here and then I want to go up and hit this row here. Get this here and then I'll move back to the next one. But was this the only area over here a little bit? I have so much new growth now. Oh yeah, back here, this whole section. But I'm not gonna pull it or break it like I would if I was doing my retie. I'm just gonna, when I get to it, I'll soften it with conditioner and gently detangle. I need to learn to be gentle because I'm gonna be a loose natural I have to be gentle. Another thing, um, I've been cutting off at least two inches from the bottom of my locks. So 
I'm keeping like all of the cut ends so I can show you the length, the average length that I cut. I'm cutting about this much. And this part of my hair now, I didn't cut this when I cut it into a bob because the layers were higher. So this part of my hair has only been trimmed. It hasn't even been fully trimmed. Not every single lock in those layers has been trimmed. So, and I tested it out before. I did like a full lock comb out and I was seeing a lot of split ends, a lot of shed hair at the ends. So I just decided to start cutting it. I cut about two, three inches and then I just comb it out and I'm retaining more length it seems like because it's easier to comb through. So I'm gonna start on this one. And sometimes if I have time during the week, I will comb my locks out. I actually have to pick up my son from school soon. So um, that's why I'm doing this now while I wait for him to be out of school. So that's where we're at. Also, I used a product that my hair really seems to like. This twist curl gel by Kiss. And it's a, a soft hold and it made my twists, my flat twists so shiny. And it was so much easier to actually flat twist with that product in my hair. So. I can already tell that's going to be a favorite of mine and I'm going to repurchase that. As you can see here, tons of new growth. Tons of new growth, which is good, obviously. We love to see new growth, but it's just really crazy to go this long without a retie. So, and my goal, I know what I said my original goal was to finish by January. Now I want to finish by December. So I have like, I have like basically four weeks to finish my hair. Hopefully, hopefully I can finish. So, and the reason why I'm starting from the front now and moving back is because I feel like it's just less awkward. So to maintain my loose hair, flat twists are my best friend right now. Best friend. So I can't cornrow, so flat twists are chef's kiss. Thank God for flat twists. And then in the back, I'm doing the chunky twists, but these need to be redone. And I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna end up trimming the back. There's just so much I need to do. I'm probably gonna try and learn to do a wash and go, or I'm gonna stretch my hair, I'm gonna trim it, and then I'm gonna learn to do a wash and go and do a curly cut because I just feel like I want to have shape I don't want to just grow hair, I want it to have shape. So yeah, there's just, there's a lot that I need to learn and figure out a lot of sk skills that I need to hone in on. But the main focus right now obviously is combing out my locks. And then after that, it's strengthening my hair again, getting rid of all the split ends and getting a shape that I like. And then we'll go from there. <laughs> we'll get into length retention. Well, I'm, I'm trying to learn how to retain length now, but it's just like, I need to do one thing at a time. Focus on one thing at a time. Take it day by day. So that's what I'm doing. Um, what else did I want to mention? This is everything I've been using. Scissors to cut the, like two inches up, two to three inches up from the bottom. Extraction tool to comb out the lock. Conditioner and water for the bottom. I don't reapply this too much because I, I have low porosity hair. And it makes my strands really tacky and difficult to comb out water just plain water to re-wet my hair to just like reactivate the conditioner rosemary and water to spray on my roots when i finish combing out the lock i spray this on my roots to strengthen and all the good stuff that rosemary does olive oil for the ends of my hair to um, make the combing out process easier and also i use this to do my my chunky twists and my flat twists because I do the LOC method so I do liquid water oil olive oil and then my leave-in conditioner of choice whether it's the Miel Organics um, pomegranate and honey one which I really like or the I just recently bought the Camille Rose honey hydrate I like both of them so yeah I'm gonna keep those in my roster and I got this tiny little one. If you ever want to try products, Walmart has like a section where they have mini product sizes. So I got the 
um, curl maker and I tried it in this twist here. My hair feels super soft, so I'm just gonna test this out as I go and see if I wanna get the full bottle. But I think that's all I wanted to, oh yeah, and then I use a mirror because sometimes I, I need to see like where the knots are in my hair. Sometimes just feeling for it is not enough. So I use the mirror and that's pretty much it. I am really excited to finish this process, but I still have like, I have all of this hair left. And what's crazy is my head already feels so much lighter. I'm gonna show you at the very end. Actually, I can show you now. This is the hair that I have so far. That's all the shed hair. So I'll show you what it all adds up to at the very end. But it just, my head feels lighter and I didn't realize how much, like when you have a bunch, like over 400, 500 locks and you have pretty dense hair, it's crazy how how much i don't know how to really explain it but it's like your hair is just a lot like it's just dense so yeah i think i mentioned this already but if i were to get locks again in the future which i may may not who knows i would definitely do way less locks like 300 maybe even less so but it was fun to try it out and it's sad to say bye to this set, but I'm also, like you guys, I don't think you guys understand. I'm really excited to explore my loose natural hair. And I've been getting a lot of hate comments. A lot of people are unsubscribing and unfollowing me on Instagram. But that's okay, because people who want to stick with me will stick with me. People who don't, they don't want to, it's fine. And um, it's just really cool. I have a lot of things that I want to talk about. With this whole experience and natural hair black women and there's just a lot to dive into with everything that i've experienced since i've announced my lock home out it's been really eye-opening for me so yeah but thank you for your continued support for you guys know who you are like the real ones who've been watching me for a while even if you haven't been watching me for a while but you just support my channel i appreciate you like you get it so and also for you guys who leave like paragraphs of your thoughts in the comments about your personal experiences i truly cherish those comments and when i read it it just makes me smile literally and um i just appreciate you guys also being vulnerable and sharing your experiences with locks and with lock home outs and with your loose natural hair and just i can tell when comments are coming from just such a sweet place and I really appreciate that. I appreciate the sweet comments more than I get annoyed by the negative ones. So yeah, that is it for this part of the lock home out. Actually, you guys let me know. Do you want me to just check in, show you my hair, and then, you know, like skip past the lock home out? Because I feel like you've already seen me comb out my locks. I'll show you this one here. So this is the one I'm working on now. I also have another one started somewhere, I think. So this is the next one. So I like to just look at the lock and then I kind of pick where I want to cut. It's usually about this high. And it's crazy how much my hair was affected by postpartum. I didn't realize how far back the postpartum hair loss went. Um, so it's like, it's crazy when you're locked, you can't really see all of the hair loss, but taking out my locks, I can see the different lengths of my hair. It's like way shorter here, a little bit longer here, shorter here, a little bit longer here. And then it's like the back is completely unaffected by it. So I'm going to have to figure out, you know, how I want to trim my hair and what length I'm comfortable with but the priority is is still health. I know that I'm gonna have a decent amount of hair left. I just want it to be healthy so that I can start my journey off on a high note. But yeah, this is literally the process. 
cut two to three inches, two inches on, aver on average off the bottom, spray with conditioner and water, grab your tool and get to work. And that's literally it. So I feel like it doesn't really make sense for me to record the same comb out every single lock diary comb out episode. Let me know what you guys think. I feel like the next one, I'm just gonna share another update of my hair, where I'm at, some things I've learned along the way, maybe some tips, or if nothing has changed, then I'll just give you an update on where I am with my hair. And I think I'm gonna have four episodes total because yeah, it just makes sense to not have too many. I don't need to s stretch it out too much, but hopefully by December, you guys will be getting the full reveal and you'll be able to see the end result and then i'll show you all the hair that was shed and all that stuff so that is it for this lock update and thank you for your continued support and i will see you in my next video bye